A ribbon cutting signals the official opening for a new business or building, and for some towns, the ceremony represents hope for a brighter future. This year, Paris, uh, pairs rather, I should say, of those giant scissors have rusted over as business owners have struggled through the spread of coronavirus and the economic shutdown. That's right. However, one main street in central Kentucky is celebrating the birth of new businesses and occupied storefronts. As Kevin hinted, it's Paris. <laughs> LAX 18's Conroy Deluche reports on the rebound in Bourbon County. Five months ago, Ricky Rose and Sally Thorne were staring at the same problem as millions of Americans. Well, we lost our jobs. Unemployment was followed by the news that the owner of where they worked, Rooster Brewing, would not be reopening the bar. But instead of looking for other jobs, Rose and Thorne negotiated their own lease for the space so they could launch the Rose and Thorne Pub. Heavy emphasis, we're a female owned business. So heavy emphasis on um, strong independent women. And when you get a chance to look at our menu, you'll see we've named all of our sandwiches after strong independent women. The first drink will be poured on Friday, right after the ceremonial ribbon cutting, just up the block. I cannot wait to see outside of these windows. <laughs> Whitney Snipes is working around the clock at Bourbon Boutique on Main to prepare for her own shop's opening. Masks aren't what we expected to sell here, but unfortunately in this time, it's gonna draw people in. Yeah. The pizza oven at Noah's Brick House was fired up more than one month ago, but the ceremonial opening here will also be on Friday. With these new businesses arriving in Paris, it's a far different outlook than Lauren Biddle, the executive director of the Chamber of Commerce, feared when many businesses were forced to temporarily close in the spring. Are we even going to have a Main Street USA after this? You know, anywhere. Is that going to even be a thing? Instead, we saw people supporting the downtown and people c consistently going there and making an effort to make sure that they were supporting the downtown area during that time. And more are set to open. On Friday, Biddle will be attending 10 different ribbon cuttings downtown. With these now occupied storefronts, the hope is that Paris will become more than just a quick stop in horse country for tourists. Paris has about 40 bed and breakfasts that we offer, and so we want to keep those tourists in Paris when they come here. The city's bright future and prime real estate is why Whitney Snipes is on Main Street, just a quick drive from her home in Cynthiana, where she witnessed a similar spirit that inspired her to open. Seeing my hometown be so supportive of all the small businesses, it was really encouraging. Back inside the pub. It's exciting and terrifying. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> especially right now. Ricky Rose is adding no mask to the top of this popular mantra. They'll be strictly enforcing face coverings and social distancing for customers. Things are different now than the last time they served a drink or cooked here, but ultimately. It makes us happy. And they can't wait to welcome their friends back inside. On the rebound in Bourbon County, Conroy Deluche, LEX 18 News.